Certainly was. There's a lot of things to unpack from that card, but I just wanted to mention one more thing. We had that big announcement with Habib Nurmagomedov, Dana White saying it's going to happen at 3 p.m. Eastern time. Of course, we didn't get it at 3. We had the Puna Soriano fight, which actually worked out well for Puna because I think more people tuned into that knockout than than before. But um, we find out that Habib not officially retired. He's going to wait and see how UFC 257 goes this Saturday. Your gut feeling, do you think Habib comes back? I don't know. I mean... If, if he wants to come back, I think he would have said, I mean, you know, Keith, the, Khabib's the type of guy that will just tell you what's on his mind. You know, it's not a, it's a definite yes or a definite no. I know he said maybe, but that's something we already knew. We already knew it would be maybe, a maybe thing. So he didn't really give us anything, really. You know, I know he said he wanted to look and see what was going on, but, um, you know, I'll, I'll have to see it to believe it. But so, because when I hear Khabib talk and he says he's going to do something, he's going to do it. Now I don't know what kind of money they're throwing at him, but if the money's right, obviously you need, you know GSP. Money was right. He came back and fought again. Um, may happen. Um, I I I would love as a fan, I would love to see that happen. I think, I think he's got more. He's still a young guy and he's got more to add to his legacy. He hasn't made that even number of thirty. You know, yet, and I would love to see that. And, and, and to do that with another Conor McGregor would be the biggest fight of this, the century, for sure. I mean, the biggest fight. I think it would be bigger than a second fight. Well, here's what I think. This I is mean, my theory, and, and, and I, want, I want to get your take on this. So um, I don't think he is coming back because if he's watching 257, if Dan Hooker wins, I don't think he's going to fight Dan Hooker. That doesn't make sense because Hooker just lost to Poirier. I think McGregor is going to beat Poirier. I don't think Habib gives him that rematch. I think there's so much bad blood there beyond the cage, beyond money, beyond all that, that I don't think Habib even wants to give Connor that opportunity anymore. And then Dana White also said the GSP fight off the table. Habib's not interested. He, they're not interested. So to me, GSP was the fight to bring him back. Do you see any scenario, like even if he does come back, who would he fight? Oliveira? I mean, I think if he had wanted to fight Oliveira, we would have heard it by now because he just yeah. beat Tony Ferguson. So I don't think he does come back. With that new information, do you still stand? Do you still think he comes back? I, I No, no, not at all. I mean, you know, Khabib has made that. He's he's like Conor McGregor status, to be honest with you. Yeah. He's up there. He's the elite of the elite. He is, you know, he's, he's MMA royalty. And for him to go to, to fight somebody like, you know, uh, you know, um, hooker or any of those guys, it just doesn't make sense. You know, yeah. it doesn't make sense. The only, the only way I would see him, if he does come back, would be a Connor fight. It would have to be a Connor fight. And that, like you said, there is so much bad blood there that it's not going to happen. I don't think Khabib would give him that. I think Connor wants it. I think he'd think that that would be a huge money night, but I don't think Khabib would give it to him. He's too, he's too much of a, uh, I don't know how to say it. Like a sportsman uh, almost. Like it's, it's a respect yeah. thing. You can kind of feel that between the two, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. A hundred percent. So yeah. With that said, I don't see him coming back. There's no, there's no, there's no need for it. Right. There's nothing. Why? 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 No, I'm with you there. Uh, 